Hey Chopsticks, today on the menu is some Taco Bell. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Merrick. Nice to meet you. I film mukbangs and ASMR, so if you are interested in these types of videos, make sure to subscribe. Without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so we have two fiery Doritos tacos. This is a steak double dila, also known as a steak quesadilla. We have some salsa and also a churro hiding in the back. So I'm gonna start with the steak double dila cause this looks bomb. Mm. Open wide, got it. Look at that cheese in the steak. Let me open it and show you guys. Oh, gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. Slay. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I haven't had Mexican food for such a long time. Mm. I like forgotten the joys of eating Mexican food because I haven't had it for such a long time. Mm. Some of the cheese isn't fully melted, but it's okay. So today, I have a bunch of things I want to talk about. But first of all... Mm. These are huge pieces, oh my god. Mm. Mm. See, I was gonna continue my sentence after I finished my first piece, but one piece takes a long time to eat, I feel like. Someone commented on one of my videos that they love seeing me dance on camera. I feel this like urge to like, kind of shake my body, you know? When I'm happy, like shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it off, shake it off. Um, so I like to like move my body when I'm happy and food makes me happy. So whenever I eat, I just want to like kind of dance a little bit. Mm. Mm. So good. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about today is the question of the day. Have you ever received free food from a restaurant before? If so, what did you get and where was it from? And when I mean restaurant, that applies to like fast food chains because one of these things you're looking at right now, I got for free today. So that kind of relates to the question of the day. Have you ever received a free item from a restaurant or fast food chain? If so, what did you get and where is it from? Let me know in the comments down below because I would love to read all your responses. So one of these things I got for free and I'll tell you which one I got for free in a second. Let's try the fiery Dorito. Oh no! Did it just like fall apart on camera? Let's save it. Okay. Open wide. Got it. Slay. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, this is really good. I'm like rotating the taco and like everything's falling out. Pretty sure I'm eating it wrong. Mm. 
Mm. Bombs. That was the first time I've ever had <clears throat> their fiery Dorito tacos. I've always seen it in mukbangs, but I actually didn't know you could get them in Canada until today. So, anyhow, let's talk about my day, you guys. Mmm. Let's get some of that salsa up in here. Mmm. So... Today is a Saturday night, and usually we're going to do fast food mukbangs. I go during the middle of the week in the afternoon because there's like no one there in the fast food chain, and it's amazing because I am the most indecisive person alive. Like seriously, it takes me so long to decide on what to get. And people who know me in real life can testify to this because whenever they dine out with me in a restaurant, I literally would read the entire menu, like item for item, and I read the mini descriptions too. Because in my mind, I'm always like, oh, I need to read everything in before I make my choice of what to get, right? Because there might be something better than what I wanted. So if I read everything on the menu, then I can like have a lot of data and information to choose from before making my selection. And that applied to me at Taco Bell today. Hmm. I don't go to Taco Bell enough to know their menu by heart. Like, I don't have their menu memorized. So my plan was to get there and just like maybe spend five minutes standing there and just like reading their menu and deciding what to get. To get. And five minutes is a really long time to like stand there in, a, in the middle of a restaurant. Since it was a Saturday night, it was so, so, so packed in there. Like, I swear someone was, like, hosting a freaking wedding at Taco Bell. It was impossible to find parking. So, when I went in, I saw that there was a line, so I lined up immediately. And that was a bad idea. Because by the time I got to the very front of the line, I realized that I didn't know what I wanted yet. Because, like, I read the menu, but, like, I still didn't really know what I wanted to order. And I felt so pressured to, like, make a decision right there and then because I was the next person that the cashier was going to take an order from. Hmm. Anyhow, I knew for sure I was going to get the double Dila because I do this a lot, but like before I go to fast food places or restaurants, I Google the place like Taco Bell and then I put coupons or promotions at the very end of my Google search. And long and behold, it worked because I found a coupon for the steak double Dila.
I think there's eight pieces in total. Mm. So the promotion, the coupon, was if you buy a chicken or steak double dealer, you get free salsa and some taco chips. So I was like, I'm down for like free food. Now, when I got to the very front of the line, Mmm, I just took a piece of this, uh, I took a bite of the steak. Let me take a piece of the steak out to show you guys. This is how the steak looks like. Mmm, delicious. Focus, will you? Ugh. Not focusing today. Mmm. So, the lady asked what I want, and I give her my coupon, and it seems like she's never seen it before, because she didn't know, like, what to do with it. And then she went to talk to her manager about it. And the thing with this coupon... was in order to redeem it, you had to print it off, like a physical copy. Some places, you can just like show it on your phone, like, oh, this is like your coupon, post it online, but no, Taco Bell made you print the actual thing. And I hate it so, so, so much when companies do that, like when you have to have a physical version of like their promotional coupon online. I'm just like, oh my God, this like wastes my ink, it wastes my time. It probably serves the exact same purpose, right? Like you're gonna take the coupon and you're gonna like rip it and throw it out. That's like wasting paper, that's killing trees. Why can't I just show it on my phone? Like there's no point in printing out a coupon if I can just show it on my phone and you can scan it. Way more eco-friendly that way. But I print out the coupon anyways because I want the free salsa and chips. Now, the thing is, when I have to print a coupon out, I make the coupon as small as possible on the paper and the reason for that is because I want to save ink. If you just print out the coupon like from the website, that's going to take up like half or like the full piece of paper and that's a lot of ink to waste and that's a lot of money. Like ink is expensive these days. So what I do is I screenshot it or I download the coupon as a PDF and then I paste it onto a Word document and then I resize it. I make it very, very small where it's barely legible, but you can see like, oh, buy one, get one free or something. That way it saves ink, which means it saves me money in the long run. So that's a tip for everyone who needs to be frugal like me. Mm. Let's do... This one next. Ooh, this one's a huge one. Mmm. Will this one focus? It's kind of focusing. Can you see it? Oh, so beautiful. Like the very tip. I really want it to focus. I feel pressure to keep talking right now until it focuses. Is it focusing? I can't really tell. It's hard to tell. But anyways, slay. Mm. 
So I print out the coupon and it's like 10% of the original size. So very, very small. And you couldn't read the fine print, which was like my mistake, I guess. But anyhow, like they didn't say you had to read the fine print. Like it didn't say you had to like make it a certain size when you print it out. So I showed the cashier my coupon and she can't see the like fine print at the very bottom. And it turns out that she needed to see the fine print because that's where the code is to enter the promotion onto their systems. Mm. There's a cross section. Mm -hmm. So the manager comes over and even the manager doesn't know the promotional code for this coupon, which I found surprising because out of the thousands of people who eat Taco Bell every single day, in my city, I thought at least one person would like use this coupon before. And this was like the only coupon on their website. It's not like they had like 20 offers like McDonald's. There was only one promotional offer. So I thought everybody would be using this. So I pull out. The digital copy of the coupon on my phone and I show them and then they like um not scanned in but they like kind of zo zoomed in there we go that's the word I'm looking for they zoomed in on the coupon and then they found the promo code on the very bottom and it was 66 not 69 unfortunately <laughs> hmm So they try entering the promo code into their computer systems and guess what? It's not working. Beach, why ain't your systems working? I want my free salsa. I want my free chips, honey. Ugh. Making the queen wait like that? How dare you? Off to the dungeons. Shock you, shackle you up. <laughs> So at this point, I'm just like, um, why isn't it working in my mind? But obviously in person, I was just standing there in silence, not saying anything. Cause here's a tip for everyone. If there's like some complication or like something doesn't go according to plan and like a social situation, and no, I wouldn't even say if it's like more than two people, even if it's you and another person, what I do a lot of the time is I just stay silent. I don't say anything and I just let the awkward silence linger on because usually I can just like keep my mouth shut until they feel compelled to say something about the situation or they'll be like, oh, let me look into it and get back to you because I don't want to be the, I don't want to be the first one saying something because like that would make me do more work or like it's hard to explain but basically if you keep your mouth shut long enough the burden of responsibility shifts to someone else that's what I've noticed a lot in life so in that situation I didn't want to be like oh that's okay maybe I'll just use a keep on next time I just kept my mouth shut and stared at them as they figured it out on their systems try it Seriously, try it, you guys. And it doesn't work all the time. Like, sometimes they might say your name. They're like, Merrick, what do you think? 
So it's like a risk, but like I would say 80% of the time it actually works. Like I just stay silent. I pretend I'm a wallflower. I blend into the wall and I let people talk it out amongst themselves. And usually they have it figured it out. And at the end, I'm just like, oh, okay, sounds good, you guys. Does that make me a bad person? <laughs> I feel like I am not a leader whatsoever. Okay, so Sadie, okay, I'm like totally um, going on a different track than my um, story time today about Taco Bell. But let me just keep talking because I really like talking about this stuff, like more deeper topics. Mm. So Sardi always, always puts so much value and prestige on being a leader and leadership in general. Like when you apply to schools, like colleges, universities, jobs, they're always like, give me an example of a time when you demonstrate leadership or what does leadership mean to you or how can you display leadership in the workforce? I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. Why is being a leader always valued higher than being a follower? Because if universities and schools and workplaces wants everyone to be a leader, there's not going to be any followers. Like, you're leading no one. You know what I mean? It's like, why would you want everybody to be a freaking leader? There won't be any followers left. So, I value a, being a follower as valuable as being a leader. You know what I mean? I feel like I say, you know what I mean a lot of the time because I don't know how to like articulate my feelings. Like, like society just, just views like leadership as higher than followership, but I think they're equal in my mind. Because if you have no followers, you're just, you're by yourself, you're alone. You're not leading anyone, okay? Hmm. Another thing with society, I love how we started a Taco Bell and now I'm talking about these philosophical ideas during mukbang. <laughs> Is that society values extroverted qualities a lot more than introverted qualities? It's like whoever is the loudest in the room, whoever is the most outgoing, whoever is the most charismatic, seems to know what they're doing. <laughs> like people just like are like, oh, he talks really loudly and confidently. He must have a lot of knowledge and wisdom, right? Because he like portrays this image that he knows it all. And someone like me in the corner of an office blended into the wall, not saying anything, must know nothing because he must, he must think he's too good for us. He probably doesn't know what he's doing, so he's keeping quiet. Mm -mm. I do this at work all the time. I'm really, really quiet <clears throat> because... I kind of work in like a public environment with like lots and lots of people. So it really, really drains my energy a lot of the time. And if I don't have to speak, I'm not going to speak. Because of the environment, I have to conserve as much energy as I can because I'm an introvert. And trust me, it's not like a self-fulfilling prophecy. <clears throat> Sorry, I have phlegm in my throat. Because I have tried to be outgoing in this public environment and like really talkative and like I barely made it to the end of my shift because I honestly thought I was going to faint from the lack of energy I had. It was like I didn't eat for like a month or something. So at work, I don't talk unless I have to talk. And that's the thing with like, I feel like in society, people are always like, oh, keep talking, keep contributing your ideas to like the group, right? And of course we need people like that in order for 
organizations to function. But I also know people who talk when they don't have anything valuable to add and they're talking for the sake of hearing their own voice. And in my mind, it drives me crazy. Because I'm like, if you have nothing valuable to add, please don't say anything. And again, I'm not saying that's right or wrong. That's just like who I am personally. I prefer silence. Like, I literally cannot think when people are talking to me. Ooh, wow, I just thought of another thing that society values that I disagree with. Multitasking. Oh my god. Every job posting I look at, they're like, multitasking is um, something we do in our company. It's like a required skill. Like, under requ required skills, it says multitasking. Able to simultaneously manage multiple projects at once. That's like the most infamous line in job postings to anybody who works in HR. Don't lie to me. You have written that sentence in job postings. Multitasking does not exist. Like you can multitask, but it's been scientifically proven scientifically proven that multitasking decreases your efficiency and effectiveness in any given task. I totally believe it. So when you're doing task A and you're forced to switch to task B because you're multitasking, a part of your brain is still focused on task A, which means while you're doing task B, you're less effective since you're still focusing on task A. Whereas if you just focused on task B from the get-go and you didn't have to focus on anything else, you can really excel at that one thing before moving on to the next project. Did that make any sense at all? I feel like that was like very, very deep and philosophical. My point is, switching between stuff, between tasks is not effective or efficient. Hmm. Okay, back to Taco Bell now, because I went on that, like, life philosophical talk for a really long time. So, because the manager, um, she read the code and she put it into the computer, but because the code didn't work in the computer, she told me that I would, um, get, she was, she was like, oh, it's for free or something. So in my mind, I'm like, oh yeah, like the chips and salsa are for free with purchase of the steak double dealer, right? Open wine. Here's the churro. Oh my gosh, I love churros so much. Look at that cinnamon sugar on the very top. You guys see it? Mmm. Slay. Mmm, so good. Oh my god. Mmm. I didn't get the salsa for free, but I got... Yeah, I got the double Dila for free. I was like, what? Mmm. <sighs> Cause... The double dila is worth a lot more than the chips and salsa. And FYI, FYI, they forgot my chips. <laughs> oh, but it's okay, because I got the double dila for free. And I would much rather have a free double dila than free chips.
I think. So it's double deal. It was like six Canadian dollars. So like four fifty Canadian. I mean US. Hmm. <laughs> I think I know the reason why they gave me the free steak double deal. I save this for my parents when they get home from work today because they've worked hard and they deserve some good food. I'm a good son, right? I like to think that I'm a good son. I'm considerate. <clears throat> Got some Dorito chips. Mmm. I think the reason why they gave me the free steak double deal is because there's such a long line and the manager didn't want to uh, didn't want for me to like hold up the line because at this specific location there was only one cashier till open so there so the manager was probably like oh let's just give it to him for free so he can move along and we can attend to the other customers before the people in line decide to leave Taco Bell and the people behind me their orders were probably worth more than six dollars I'm sure the manager just wanted me to like finish my order and like not risk the people walking out from Taco Bell so yeah, I guess she made the right decision by giving me, by giving me the free double dealer. Alrighty, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. If you are subscribed, make sure you turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. I'll link all my past videos on the screen right now. And until next time, that was your daily dose of a hot mess. Bye, bitches.